Welcome. Today I would like to talk about uh, HTTP2 and uh, how you can use it to improve performance for your website. Basically HTTP 1.1 is the protocol that most uh, web servers uh, have been using till now and HTTP2 uh, has essentially started to be uh, seen in about last a year or two and that's the new protocol. So one of the things that the new protocol does is for performance is uh, it takes care of the problem that uh, we call head of line blocking. And uh, basically what it is is that uh, essentially uh, with HTTP 1.1 uh, you would normally see a client open a connection to a server and then wait for the response and then realize it needs something else and send a, a request and a response and so forth. And uh, to uh, actually uh, in the new mode for planning, you can open one connection and you can send multiple re requests on that connection and get the response back so you can improve the overall time performance. And uh, some browsers actually to improve this were able to open about five or six connections and get that through. But um, this is actually quite streamlined in uh, HTTP2. HTTP2 also does some compressions of the headers and other performance tricks that you can kind of read about. Uh, but uh, one of the good things about uh, is uh, the HTTP server push. Uh, basically what it is is that you can specify some configuration at the server and then it uh, can figure out that you needed an HTML. So you probably need some other files which have say CSS, JavaScript or images and it can uh, send uh, through a push request and uh, the, so it can improve the essentially the delivery of the page or anything else. So that's kind of general overview of that. If you want to see a good demo of how this works, you can go to this site http 2 akamaicom demo and actually I will include this link so uh, on my website once I'm done but basically what this demo is showing is that uh, they were sending some uh, lots of small small images over HTTP 1.1 and uh, you have a fairly high latency and load time is much higher and you could see that it's uh, much faster on HTTP 2. Uh, how you can tell whether it's using uh, HTTP 2 or not? You can basically look in the Chrome for example the network protocol and here you can see a request is being made and the protocol is H2 and here the protocol was HTTP 1.1. Basically, uh, uh, HTTP 2 is backwards compatible with HTTP 1.1. So if a server uh, um, can uh, do HTTP 2, uh, basically once it gets an upgrade request, it can change over and switch to it. So that's how it is. If you want to check whether a site is doing HTTP 2 or is capable, you can basically run, so for like, example, I run godaddy.com and I say uh, test it, it says it does not support HTTP 2.2 and let's say if I do it on google.com here it says the google.com supports HTTP 2.0 so that's another easy way to check that. Uh, one thing you can do in Chrome is go into chrome slash net internals and uh, essentially be able to monitor HTTP 2 traffic. There is actually uh, portion uh, like a little tab here for HTTP2 you can click on that and you can see some HTTP negotiated protocols for example here and you can kind of find a little bit more details about it if there is anything any details about those uh, particular protocols so that's kind of a little bit overview of HTTP2 and hopefully that should get you interested in it and you can look into the various ways how you can make a different web server you might be using uh, be HTTP2 protocol compliant. Uh, you can uh, check for these links. I will put this on my website or associates under HTTP2. Thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day.